Hi guys, just a quick update video and tell you basically what's going on with the MHQ project and all the different developments and updates etc. So we've surpassed the 1000 subscriber mark. I remember back when we had our first couple of subscribers and I was more than happy just to carry on doing it for those guys. But now we've over a thousand subscribers, I'm over the moon. So thank you very much for that. Without you guys, this channel would be utterly pointless and yeah. So thanks again, guys. So KZAC has released a couple of updates over the last few days. So the MXQ SF5 has had an update, so one of these boxes. And S905 devices such as this MXQ Pro. Now if you want to update, simply grab your tar update file, samber into your box, and place that tar file right into the update folder and restart your box, and that is it. I've done a video on that, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave that link in the description below. So I've updated the website just a little bit. I've included S912 developments. As I'm sure you're aware, we've been playing around with the Beelink GT1, which has the S912 Amalogic processor, as well as the Mikul M8S Plus as well, which I, again has the S912. So we've been playing around with that. We worked out how to get Libra, etc. work on them, those sort of boxes, and we've included those guides, etc. on the website now. Another tweak we've done to the website is included an email list. So if you want to keep up to date with the MXQ project and everything that's going on, then I shall send you out a couple of emails every couple of weeks just to keep you informed. You can sign up just on the website, just on the main page, just you need your name and email address. I'm not going to bombard your email account with loads of emails, don't worry about that. Just one or two every couple of weeks just to keep you informed with new things, such as maybe even KZAX updates, etc. So we are looking for MX boxes. If you've got one lying around and you live in the UK and you'd like to donate one to the MXQ project, we'd love for you to do that. We are after this hardware just to do tutorials for, because it, there's LibreLEC 8.0 for these boxes. So guys, I've had these for what, maybe six, seven years even, can now update to the latest version of coding using this development over on the LibreLEC website. So if you've got one, please, send it to us, we'd love to have it, and we'd love to do all sorts of things with it, and really push the hardware. And if you really wanted us to return it, that's no problem, I will show return it once we're finished with it, if you like. We're also after an M8 test box, an M8 test plus, and an M8 box. Those are the ones with the S812, S802, and Modric processors in them. Now the reason we're asking for this is because the MX box, for example, is ridiculously overpriced still, for some reason, they're after a lot of money for these things. I'm not sure why, even though it's really old hardware. But there we go, that's just the way it is. As well as that, the MAS box is quite expensive as well. And if we can get one just donated, and we can do our tutorials for it, and we can send you it back, then, you know, that's absolutely fine. We can do that. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. And yeah, we shall see you in the next one.